What is going on, people? This is Elder Tenshi, and today I want to talk about my history with the Harry Potter franchise. Um, I have yet to talk about Harry Potter at all on my channel, so this is going to be a first. But, um, so, Harry Potter was introduced to me um, through school. A teacher actually introduced it to me uh, when I was in sixth grade. From third grade up until sixth grade, I was in a Catholic school. And uh, that's where I was introduced to it. I believe this happened right before we were about to enter seventh grade, um, like right before, right before the summer. So, so the teacher introduced us to the first book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and we would read a chapter or two, right, um, you know, every every day. And she would ask us about. You know, she would ask us about the characters, and just we would get just really jazzed about it. Um, my cousin and I got really into it after a while. We started collecting the other books. Now, I only had Sorcerer Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. I believe he had of um, the ones that came after. Um, and as soon as the movies were announced, <laughs> I just stopped collecting the books altogether and just focus on the movies because even though I loved both books that I had the fact is I have a very short attention span I know this about myself and um, sitting there and, read, and reading a book no matter how into it I get I always get distracted by something else and as soon as the movies came out and I saw uh, Harry, Hermione, and Ron for the first time in live action I was like it's a wrap it's a wrap. I was just focusing on the movies. Every movie that came out from that point on, I had to see. My cousin and I were huge fans. My sister and I were huge fans. Even my mother was a, was a um, you know was a fan of it. Not as big as uh, as we were, but she would watch the movies with us. She would enjoy them with us, and we had a good time. Um, so so when the first when the first movie came out, and you're introduced to you know to uh, Harry and introduced to his family life. And everything for the most part as soon as much as I can remember because I'm doing this all from memory the books and the and the movie itself were pretty spot-on yeah there was some you know there was some things that they had to cut out in between but you know everything from from um, that whole incident at the zoo to his introduction to Hagrid and all that seemed pretty spot on. Um, and then when we go to Diane Gone Alley and we and we're introduced to his, uh, you know, to his owl and him getting his wand and stuff, I just really wanted to immerse myself in this world because I'm the type of guy that. Growing up, I was always taught to use my imagination. I was always taught to be creative. I was always taught that there, you know, there's more out there than just the TV and just, you know, and just the, you know, just the physical stuff. You can create whatever you want in your mind. So, with with a world like Harry Potter and the fact that I was already into a lot of other things like sci-fi and fantasy and things of that nature, it really appealed to me and millions of other kids growing up so it wasn't that hard but yes i did get some you know i did get some ridicule for liking it you know and i even got some on both sides i got some from those who did not know about harry potter didn't care about it and then i would also get the people that were you know the 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 purists the the ones that preferred the book over the movie and that's cool that's awesome because because everyone knows that when you adapt one medium to another there are some things that are going to be taken out there are some feelings you're not going to get if you if you go from the page to the screen or vice you know or or sometimes vice versa so you know if you like one or the over the other cool i liked both so my cousin and i would go see well actually no actually my cousin and i we didn't get to actually go see a harry potter film together until the last one if i remember correctly my sister and i would go to just about every screening every every movie that ca that came out we had to see together um and uh, it was just it became a tradition we had the, we had the movies on dvd uh we even had i remember there was a bunch of harry potter games now i did not have i did not own a gamecube i had a uh, a ps2 
but I didn't really. When I started, when I when I got to be a little older, I stopped getting games that were based off of movies because some of them stunk. So I did not, uh, you know, I, I did not get into the Harry Potter um, uh, video games. However, I did get into this one board game that involved um, you making a ball float through a board and jumping through hoops. For whatever reason, it seemed really cool to me, um, even though the fan on that thing was really loud. But I digress. My favorite movie has got to be uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, mostly because of Sirius Black. You know, the fact that he was falsely, you know, falsely accused and going in the pri- in, 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 in going into prison and he was um, and he ended up being well, spoilers. But, you know, it's over 20 years old. Um, but the, the fact that he was also related to uh, to Harry, he was his godfather. So you get to hear a little bit more about him. You get to know a little bit more about Harry's family. I love the development of these characters. Um um, Hermione became one of my favorite characters, but she didn't start out that way. To me, she was a little bit of a know-it-all, and I, you know, and and I, I thought that her character was a, you know, a sweet but a bit annoying um, at first. But that was just the first movie. I was done. I was done thinking that way by the, you know, by the time that movie was over and we got to the second, we got to the second one. She became my favorite character, and for a while, um, as you know, as I grew up and they were growing up in front of my eyes, I kind of developed a crush on Emma Watson. Yeah, big newsflash. Um, but until this day, still kind of have a crush on Emma Watson and the stuff that she and the stuff that she's she's um, doing now for you know for uh, her career as well as uh, the world as a whole. That's awesome. Big ups to her. Like she's ever gonna hear this, but whatever. Um, <laughs> um, but anyway, so so. I remember going to this camp. I used to go to this really religious uh, camp every year. And a couple times, one of the subjects that would be brought up is the Harry Potter franchise. Now, I did not know this until I was older, but the controversy surrounding the Harry Potter franchise was baffling. You know, you had you had parents that were against it because of its themes of magic its themes of you know of 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 you know otherworldly you know otherworldly beasts and stuff you know and stuff like that. But it was all focused on the ma- you know on the magic. So they thought that it was just evil. Now, now here's the now here's the thing. To me, when I got into that argument with kids my own age, and they asked me how is it not evil that he's using magic, I could answer them, but I was afraid to. I was very timid growing up. And I, I hated getting into any kind of conflict. To this day, I, I really don't like getting into conflict. So, you know, to avoid, to avoid any, other, any other, like, scrutiny or any other kind of further debating, I just shut my mouth, you know? But, you know, but just like technology, it's neither good nor bad. It's all about how you use it. And to me, Harry wasn't bad. How in the world can you be bad when you're taught... To defend yourself against the darkness. How is it that, that he's considered bad or, or, or a bad influence when he's trying to save people and learn more about himself? You know, that's one thing I, that's one thing I never got. You know, so when, I, so when I would hear that stuff, it just baffled me because it didn't make any sense. Good versus evil is not always cut and dry. I understand that, but I didn't see any any evil intent in in Harry or any of his friends. I didn't see any kind of malice or any kind of wanting to rule the world or rule over other people. I saw that on the other side. But it's just like you know, it, it, it's just like anything. Like like I said, it's it's neither good nor bad. It all depends on how you use it. But getting back to the overall point, um, so. So, watching every other movie and wishing I could go to some of these events that would happen. Now, when a Harry Potter event would happen, it would happen outside of my town. So, I couldn't go. You know what I'm saying? I was young and I had no money. So, I had no way of, I had no way of going. The most, that, the most I would hear about really are the, you know, when the books would, would get released. I'm kind of glad I didn't go to those because I know that they would get a little, cha- you know, a little chaotic. But still, I would have loved to go for for 
uh, the experience at least just once. Uh, I, I would hear stories about people fighting over books. I would hear stories about people uh, stealing exclusive merchandise from the stores and, and, you know, and stuff like that. So part of me is kind of glad I didn't go. Um, but, you know, part of me still wishes I could have. Um, so by the time the last movie had premiered and everything was laid down for, for Harry and Voldemort to have their, you know, to have their battle, and, you know, and the, you know, the characters had developed and grown up and all that stuff. My cousin and I went to my very first, till this day, my first and only midnight showing. And it's funny because um, when Deathly Hollows came out, when Deathly Hollows Part 2 came out, I had to work that day, but my cut well, I had to work the next had to work the next day. I had to work that Friday and I had to work the next day at about seven in the morning. But my cousin had gotten these tickets to the to the um, midnight showing. So he asked me, he was like, You wanna go? You know, and I'm like, Yeah, I'm going. Knowing that we wouldn't get out until like after two in the morning and I had to wake up the next day for seven I still went and I had a great time but one thing I I, I wish I could have done was I wish I had a cape because there were there were fans cosplaying they had their capes they had their wands you know some of them had glasses on and you know and things like that and I was like man I am home it felt so great to just be there and share the experience with um, with so many people my age and we were just chilling you know like we're we're a bunch of 20 somethings just just watching you know just watching this whole battle go down and watching characters that we've grown up with develop into their own and and you know and watching people die spoilers and watching people die and and watching uh you know Voldemort try to have his revenge you know revenge on Harry and all that stuff and oof man I I I just it was an aw- it was an awesome time to be a fan that that day um till this till this day it's the, I still say it's pretty cool to be a Harry Potter fan and I um, hope that because it because it was just announced a couple months ago that J.K. Rowling was was coming out with more books within the franchise. So I want to see what uh, they're gonna do with that. I kind of wish I could have seen um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them um, when when that came out. I don't know what I was doing, but I missed but I missed my shot. I still gotta get it on. Um, I still gotta either buy it digitally or get it on DVD or something. But um, anyway, that's my history with the Harry Potter franchise. It's, it's still, to this day, to me, a great franchise. It's good to look back on and see what, um, you know, what the movies were like only a few years ago. They're not even that, you know, it's not even that old. But now, a lot, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the effects could, you know, could be touched up. The fact that the kids of, you know, here, you know the, the main characters in that franchise are still cool with each other and they've grown up and they've done other projects and really cool you know things throughout their you know throughout their careers and they're still cool people that is what's amazing to me um and not to say that every child actor is going to go you know off the rails but you know you hear stories you see reports and stuff and these kids are still humble so i would love to meet them one day you know uh, i would also i would also love if i was in the the Harry Potter world, I'd love to just talk to Dumbledore. I'd love, I'd love to pick his brain and see what I could, you know, what I could learn from him. I, I'd also learn, I'd also love to, um, to talk to Snape, may he rest in peace, uh, you know, and, and see what he, you know, what was going on through his mind during Dumbledore's, you know, plan that whole, you know, whole time, you know, the teachers in that school are great, but yo, but Hagrid, Hagrid's the man, Dobby's the man, Dobby's a G, shoot, um, but, um, <laughs> but ha- Hagrid, Hagrid would probably be my best friend, he'd, he'd, he'd be like a surrogate uncle to me, much like he was to, to the kids, and the, the, the um, you know, the, 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 wor- the world, it is always sticking in my head, the world of Harry Potter was always sticking in my head, even, even if you didn't like it, some people had to admit they at least liked the effects, even if they didn't like the the movies and they didn't get it at all. Some people would tell me they'd still like the effects, 
even those who would call Harry Potter like Harry Pothead or something like that, you know? Because there were a lot of haters out there, but they are all they always found something that they liked, you know? Um, but anyway, that's it for my rant. That was my personal history on the Harry Potter franchise. I mean, with the Harry Potter franchise. And I can't wait to see what they do um, with it going forward. So let me know what you guys think of that. Um, if you're a Harry Potter fan, what was your favorite um, moment in here, you know, in, in any movie and or book of uh, Harry Potter? Um, and what el- and, and what else would you like to see in the future? And uh, are you uh, are you excited about the new, you know, about the new movies coming out? Are you excited about the plays? Let me know in the comments below and I will check you on the next broadcast. Thanks for listening. Peace, love, and never be normal.